Lewis, call it screen heartthrob. Ah, really? wow, wow. ah. So much better yes. looking in real life. <laughs> wow. It's shorter. Well, now for all you uh, Hawkeye young viewers who... What's happening? What are you doing? <laughs> Just sitting on Lewis's knee. <laughs> <laughs> for all you Hawkeye young viewers, here's our catch-up with our regular pauses of Law and Order in Plods 2 and a Bit. All right, you stand over there, lad. All right. Now, what's your name? <laughs> Bodie. No, Bodie. ask for any body, not any Bodie. <laughs> oh. now, uh, now, everyone, everyone's going to get issued with one of these Alsatian dogs here. Show them the Alsatian dog. All going to be issued with one of these Alsatians. Ruff, Ruff, is that it? Hi, lad. <laughs> it looked like an Alsatian to me. Oh, hi. Well, it's, um... It's a master of disguise, like, you know. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's just um, sneak it off, will you? Now, uh, I'm going to talk to you, Mr. Booty. Booty. What? Oh, I'm sorry. About the unarmed wombat. Combat. What? No, it's not wombat, it's combat, right? Is it? Unarmed combat. Oh, that's a different set of notes, that. Um, oh, there you go. Eh? <laughs> right. Thank you, Mr. Boogie. Now, <clears throat> Booty. Now, see this club here? Well, you say that club, and I want you to hit me. But I better warn you, I can move like a greased ferret on a piece of elastic. Now, you try and hit me. Aye, <laughs> right, well, you seem to got the angle that all right, lad. <laughs> like, like <he. laughs> right, thank you, Mr. Broody. Broody! Yeah. Make him angry, John. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Uh, have you got any friends in any season organisations out like that you want to tell me about? <laughs> yes. Oh, I've got a friend who's just joined a terrorist. <clears throat> A terrorist organisation, is that? Yeah. Oh, does he, does he have any, any money in it at all? Oh, yeah, last week he made a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, <clears throat> we're going to go on now. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Mr. Bloggs. Bodie! Yeah. We're going to go on now to the Paralyzing Old. Yeah. Right, now, this is called the Arf Nelson, and it's named after a famous sea captain who was the first <clears throat> person to wear a hat with Kiss Me Quick on it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what you have to do, it's very simple. You have to get him in, in a grip like this, you see. And then I get over it and I see, and, uh, uh, and you see, yeah, like that, you see. Well, I, th I, I think you got the angle of that at all, Mr. Bloody. Thank you. Bloody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, lad. Excellent. <laughs> all right, now. now, if you can temporarily blind your attacker, so much the better. Now, if you got something handy in your handbag, like a pound of tripe or a string of pork sausages, that's the right thing. Now, can you think of any way at all that like, you could temporarily blind me? Hi. Well, you seem to be getting the hang of this all together now, lad. Right, now, reflexes. <laughs> now, reflexes. Reflexes, yeah. Very important, these right. reflexes. Now, try... Hello. Hello. Hello, excuse me. Sorry. Mr. Mr. Robinson. Now, try and slap. <laughs> it's only acting. It's only acting. Uh, I, I was going to say in the face, like, you know, but... Um, <laughs> uh, okay, if you can just... If, if you can just wait until I say slap me in the face. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. clears throat> no, yeah, I was just explaining it. I have to say slap me in the face. <laughs> and that's when you slap me in the face. <laughs> I think we go to the flattens now, actually. <laughs> now, you see, if all else fails, yeah. the best thing to do is hit your attack in the face of the flan, you see. No, it's not you, do it. No, I was exposed. <coughs> I was trying to explain it to you. <laughs> this mean, it just mean you got off me. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Let's say good morning to Georgina in New Mills, Derbyshire. Thanks for looking after the horses, it says here. And I must say he he hello to everyone I met at the Walker Junior School in uh, New Southgate on Wednesday. Thank you all for your help. And hello to Tiswas' latest viewer, James Lloyd, who's three days old of Liverpool. Uh, Lewis, the last time you were here, oh, you seem to have got a new skill, operating a puppet. What? You seem to have uh, got a new a talent. Puppet. Oh, I can't get my hand in his mouth, Louis, the last time you were here was when you were, um, in fact, walking from London to Liverpool. How did that... I mean, how much money did you end up raising? We don't know yet, till the 31st of January. Mm. Um, that's the, the final date, folks. 
Oh, yes. Send in the cash. Right. And uh, I don't know if you can get the address over next week or something like that. You know. <laughs> well, no, we so can't. I mean, I don't know. Well, they could always send it to us, <coughs> I expect. So you were quite pleased with how it all went in the end? Yeah, the walk went great. Yeah. Um, the financial response is, you know, in the lap of the gods. We yeah. really don't know yet. Yeah. But you oh, got you there. think at the end? Because, I mean, quite seriously, when, yes. when you were up here about three That's days right. into the your feet were absolutely ripped to shreds. Yeah, and blisters. But um, strangely enough, the next day they were great. You know, we did them in. <laughs> Surgical spirit, and uh, I saw you doing that in the evening. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. a bit much, really, sitting do. in a little restaurant doing. doing that, didn't you? <laughs> a <laughs> large <laughs> surgical spirit, please, for both feet. Yes, every now and then, Okay, let's move on. Uh, last week, eight and overs. If you remember last week, eight and overs, uh, we showed you a selection of buildings. We asked you what they were and asked you a number of questions about it. Let's have a look at them again with the answers, hopefully in an ideal world this time round. They are the first one, the Vatican and the White House. Now, we said to you there's a comp. There's a Definitely. common connection. It's all right. It's all I can do to speak at all. There's a common connection between all three. What is it? All three are official residences, which is fairly easy. But we did ask you quite a close question. This actually, we asked you which was the odd one out and why. It's Buckingham Palace because the occupants of the other two are both voted into office. Right. Think about it. And we also asked a bonus question, uh, which nobody got right instantly. <laughs> and that was, which out of the three is the oldest? When was it built and who designed it? Well, uh, the Vatican is the oldest building. It was built in uh, 1450. And it was conceived by Pope Nicholas, uh, whose idea for a residential palace uh, came to fruition in 1450. Sixtus IV added the Sistine Chapel. And the work was completed under the guidance of an architect named Bramante almost 100 years later. And who said we weren't educational? Right, the three winners, but don't forget there's no extra special prize this week because no one got the bonus uh, uh, question correct. I'm turning to be a Tommy Cooper. Um, the three winners are Jackie Nelson of Keswick in Cumbria. Well done to you. Uh, uh, Susan Cronin of 15 Austin Way in Uxbridge and Marcus Blair, who's nine years old, from five Windmill Cottages, Windmill Farm, Montacute in Somerset. Well done to you lot. And they win the spit puppet that uh, Lewis was demonstrating a moment ago. Um, a Tiswas t-shirt. And we're also going to send them a selection of LPs. OK? But now, all you gardeners watching, I'm sure are a bit worried about the state of your gardens. Uh, it can be a very critical time of the year, actually, January. You've got to know exactly the right thing to do in the garden. So here for some invaluable tips is Arthur Cucumber with Compost Corner. Compost Corner! Plan flinger. This could be very interesting. Could be crucial. Will his training prove to be enough to weather the storm against the phantom? Tell him, sir. Well, that's right. This is the acid test, really. The man is trained up to the hilt, as you know. Now, the Phantom Flanfering and Flander are, are over there. They've got a table full of their usual sort of weaponry, custard pies, buckets of water, buckets of, I think that's horse manure, I'm not quite sure. Lewis, what have you chosen? I'm going for the uh, Thompson machine gun, the sabre, and the crossbow. It's your face. Go back on <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. Well, it should be a lovely, clean contest, as usual. Best of luck, Lewis. Best of luck, Phantom, whoever you may be. And Flanderella. Right. Smith and Jones.